a special moment that we have set aside in our church for fasting and seeking God. And for you to be here is just extra special because to be honest, we're not always in a church service. We're not always with our church leaders or even with other church members, uh, but we are dealing with life. We are every day dealing with um, struggles and tests and trials. Um, we are in battles. Some for we are in the fight of our lives, right? Uh, for some of us. So I am just so grateful that you set this time aside. And so, with that being said, today we want to talk to you about experiencing God's presence through fasting. And what is fasting? Okay, because those words, presence and fasting, may not fit together. What is fasting? Um, it's it's a stripping away. It's a, it's a taking away. It's almost like losing or sacrifice. Like I don't get to have, but presence means I do have, and and there is something here with me. I'm not alone. I am receiving. I'm taking in. And so I love um, that that kind of oxymoron type of statement that we're using right now. And so in your life, you may feel like I'm alone. I don't feel God. I don't see God, but could it be that we've allowed some things to get in the way? That we have allowed emotions or food or we've allowed um, grudges, injuries, sin to now get in the way of us experiencing God's presence. And so when we take this special time to just separate, to pull away and just to seek God, we experience His presence in a whole new way. God has always wanted to be with you. In Ezekiel, he says that he will make his home with you. It means he's moving in, guys. <laughs> and then in the Gospels, we hear the story of the birth of Christ. God came to be with us. In Matthew 8, he's named Emmanuel, God with us. So do you feel like you experience God's presence every day? Maybe not. But I know a way that you can, that you can experience a manifest presence of God. As you fast this season, get into his word more. John 1, 1 tells us that God is his word. And he's saying, get rid of all those other things. Turn off YouTube and get in my word. In Luke chapter four, we have this recording of Jesus beginning his ministry. Uh, and he goes into this wilderness place. You may feel like you're in a wilderness, right? Um, and he went alone. Nobody was with him. He didn't have a leader with him. He didn't have his pastor with him. It was just him in the wilderness. And he began to fast. And, and I kind of just kept rereading Luke chapter four because I was like, was he fasting when he went in? Or was he fasting after the testing? What, 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 what's going on? But I do know this. It says that he continued to fast during the testing. He said, you know what I need to do right now is I need to remove everything that's a, a distraction, that's a temptation that will make my flesh stronger than my spirit. And it gave him the victory. Three times Jesus was tempted by Satan himself. Now you may be getting tempted right now during your fast by Oreos or Wiener Schnitzel, but imagine Jesus, 40 days, right? In the flesh, fasting. He was hungry. And it's recorded in Luke 4. He was hungry. He was weak. But he had something inside of him. He had something that you and I get to have inside of us. He had God's word. And he said, let me strip everything away that's keeping me from accessing, from meditating, from believing, from speaking God's word. And when he did that, Jesus wasn't so alone. And he got the victory. Every time he responded with, it is written. And I want to encourage you right now, whatever battle you're facing, can you speak God's word over it? Now, Jesus in this moment, I mean, when he came into the world, vulnerable. When he's in the, in the wilderness being attacked by Satan, he's vulnerable. He's alone. Nobody's with him. Now, you may be going through a season like that. This reminds me of a season, too, that I went through not so long ago. A season when I got the worst news imaginable. That at five months pregnant, I had lost my baby that he had died. And then I was given instructions to do something that I was not wanting to do. Fast. Yeah, the doctor said, I need you to fast. Because the option they gave me was to be induced and I had to go into the hospital for that. And now I wasn't eating. 
And while I wasn't eating natural food, and I was full of grief and fear, and, and I was struggling inside of myself, I was struggling in faith even, God spoke for me to read His Word. And in that hospital room, me and my husband read through the entire book of Job, verse by verse, meditating on one man's loss and eventual victory. And we said, God, we won't be defined by this moment of loss and lack. See, sometimes while fasting, we focus too much on what we don't get to have. Instead of realizing the gift of God's presence, we do get to have. God was with me in that moment. God brought me through that moment. God gave me His Word. And God gave me victory. So I encourage you right now in this season of fasting, turn off your phone and open your Bible. Stop opening the refrigerator. And why don't you come to church more? <laughs> Get involved in a ministry. Help somebody else. Do what God would want you to do. You're going to experience God's presence. You're not going to feel alone. You're going to know He is right there with you.